Good. How are it's you? Been a while since I we've know. done one of these. I know. But I am glad we're doing this one. Absolutely. What a great starting point. Yes. Yep. Oh, no pun intended. Huh? <laughs> so hey, I'm Brett. This is Ed. Hello. Good to be back on yeah. film. Not film. Digital media for uh, a review of the Academy 10E from Taylor. Um, I don't know if I've seen a cooler guitar under seven, you know, a new new guitar lately under yeah. 700 bucks for a beginner slash intermediate player. Absolutely, and especially one that captures what Taylor is about. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is not an inferior guitar by any means, and this is an entry level instrument, but it totally captures all the really awesome things that Taylor puts into yeah. their guitars yeah. on every level. You're not getting a bad guitar here no. at all. No, <laughs> I mean, and it's, you know, the cool, the, it's like, I, I just went to a thing in Chicago for Taylor over the weekend, or well, a couple days ago, and you, the whole time I was there, it's like they're talking about the new Grand Pacific, and they mm -hmm. talk about, you know, we talked about the Academy and all that, and it's like, you can just tell, and these were people from the factory that, that flew us up there to have a, a meeting about the new series and all that stuff, and the deal is that, that I felt that I took away from the thing that was most important to me was that everything they come up with, there's a reason for it. And with some manufacturers in the past 10 or 15 years, that hasn't been the case. Mm -hmm. It's like they just come out with new stuff for the sake of coming out with new stuff. Yeah. That's not the case with this or the V-bracing or the Grand Pacific. All this stuff that's coming out from Taylor really has a purpose. The mini bass, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, I mean, that's, yeah. that thing is way cool so enough's enough about the the uh the overview of taylor guitars now that we've stroked that ego enough but this is the academy 10e and it is a sitka spruce top solid sitka mm -hmm. spruce top with uh sapele back and sides uh, layered is what they call it and uh it is a 24 and 7 8 inch scale, which is really comfortable. Can you tell me some reasons why? Yeah, the strings tune up to pitch with less tension. All right, so it is, you know, it facilitates bending, which a beginner's not going to really do, but it makes it easier to play. And it's one of those things that they address to make the experience of picking up a guitar and playing it as comfortable and in easy, as easy as possible. You know, it's, a, it's an awkward instrument. You know, when I tell beginners like when you're holding the instrument properly you can't see what your fingers are doing yeah you know it's it's all about feel and muscle memory yeah and with that in mind you know this this wonderful armrest right here yeah you know yeah. so i mean it, it's these are these are like you said like design features that have a reason behind them yeah and that go far beyond what anyone would think about you know when they're playing the guitar or just wanting to attempt it yeah and being a dreadnought you know it tends to be a bigger guitar this one's slightly smaller, but dreadnoughts a lot of times when I pick them up, that part right there kind of drives me crazy. Yeah. And I own two dreadnoughts because I like back in the 90s, that's all you ever saw anybody play. Yeah. You know, and that's when I bought my the two that I have. And and like but playing it now that I play these and play like mm -hmm. a you know an upper level uh, tailor that has a cut the the armrest. It's like, I don't want to play without it. Yeah. It's just, you don't have to, it's, it's one less thing you have to fight. Mm -hmm. You know, I already fight like, you know, you're, you're learning every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you're learning and that's enough to fight. It's like, I don't need, you know, I don't, what am I trying to You didn't need analogize. it working against you, right? right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, that's one thing that gets a cumbersome thing out of the way. Um, you know, the, the electronic system on this thing, when you plug this in, it sounds great. Like I would totally, totally gig with this guitar. Like oh, yeah. if I was on the road a lot and I didn't, you know, and I was, you know, gig bagging a guitar or a case and it's in and out, and it's, you know, I'm getting banged around, you know, and you don't want your $5,000 mm -hmm. 800 series, 900 series guitar getting beat up. This thing, when you plug it in, it's got their ES system, but it's an ESB, so it's got the tuner. Mm -hmm. This instrument, you know, regarding electronics, you know, one can argue, well, I'm a beginner. Why do I need an electronics package? I'm only going to plug it in. I don't even have an acoustic guitar amplifier. The serious students, you know, we, we have this great school here, and we, we encourage them to perform. 
you know, whether, you know, if it's, you know, a praise and worship environment or in our school where the way that you really get good is when you're actually doing it. It yeah. forces you to perform. And so now this electronics package and to be able to plug this set in an amplified performance situation, that's how a serious student is going to progress. So it's, it's got a built-in tuner, you know, so even if you don't plug it in for a while, you're already set. But yeah. this is what I always encourage people, if you really want to get good, because we want, you know, immediate gratification yeah. to a degree. And, well, that's going to come from you getting out there and doing it. And yeah. this is an instrument that helps facilitate that right away. Yeah, very simple. And, and the tuner being built in, you know, that's, I mean, at minimum, that's a 15 or $18 value. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, and then you're not clipping mm -hmm. something on, which the clip-on tuners are awesome, don't get me wrong, but you're like, oh, I have a tuner. Mm -hmm. And if you don't push the button to turn it off, it shuts off in three minutes, so you're not losing your electronics all the time. Uh, to get into it, you know, a lot of younger players don't necessarily get into the wood selections and all that stuff, but it is important to know what you're getting. That way you know what to compare it to, you know. Um, so like I said, Sitka Spruce Top, uh, Sapele, back and sides, ebony fretboard, yeah. West African ebony fretboard, uh, new bone nut with a Micarta uh, saddle. Yeah. Jeez, whoa. Um, and, you know, it's just a, it's a classy guitar. I mean, it's in, you know, even the, the Copafera, uh, what am I trying to say? The head side. Veneer, yeah. whatever, you, whatever yeah. you want to call it. I don't know what's faux pas anymore. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the veneer on the headstock, it, it's just, it's, they didn't just put the, the neck material. They wanted it to look a little nicer. It's yeah. really cool. And Tuners it comes with a really diesel gig bag, a really nice yeah. gig bag, you know, yeah. that's, that's practical. Yeah, yeah diesel. <laughs> I'm, bringing, I'm going back to my 90s lexicon there, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to strum a few basic chords and just let you hear the thing through a mic, preamp, no EQ, things sounds just like this in person. Um, really good mic, really good preamp and, and uh, you know, converters. So you can trust this, put some headphones on, take a listen. Um, it's through a single mic, so it's mono, but you get the idea. Just listen. Great, six forty nine, right? Is the price on these? Um, with the electronics, I think it's a little bit more than that, but it makes it. I think it's six forty nine. Yeah, it's six forty nine. Jesus, I'm shocked. <laughs> so you know, you, you take simple chords, and I'll, I'll just teach you some chords if you're a beginner. Put your finger on the the A and the D string on fret two. Two fingers. And then on the D string and the B string, go to two. Don't play the low string this time. Play these. Instant Pink Floyd. <laughs> or Flink Poid, so we don't get copyrighted. So you heard it from us. That's right. The Academy 10E. Um, make sure you check out our website. We're adding a lot of informational pages and stuff about uh, Taylor. Um, it comes with the Elixir strings, which we also sell on our website. If you ever need to replace strings on these, we've got them. Um, we're here for you. Please call, chat, email. Uh, you can talk to me, Rob. This is not Rob. Rob's in that other room. This is Ed. Sorry. And, uh, and we're here to help. So make sure you please call us if, you, if you're a beginner, you're intermediate, you want to step up to that next guitar. We want to help. We are literally here for you. We're not here to just sell guitars. We want you to get what you need. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Please ask questions in the comments section. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Have a good day.